What's going on everybody? This is Justin with Me, Myself and Dice, a channel dedicated to solo board games. And today we have the epic conclusion of Too Many Bones, our first playthrough of this. Now typically I wouldn't do an intro for a part of the series, but since this wasn't our typical casual gameplay, this was more of an actual tutorial, I want to point out two mistakes that I made. The first mistake that I made that I want to clarify is dealing with poison. Now the way I was treating poison was to, let's say you got poison two, I take poison two and then deal one damage, then take it down and it would last that number of rounds. But what it actually is, is if you get poison, let's say poison two, it actually does two damage at the beginning of your turn. You take it down to one and then the next turn it does one damage and then it comes off of the character. So it actually deals the number of damage there. I don't know why I had a brain lapse in that when I was filming and playing. There's just so much going on. It's easy to make mistakes in this game, but just have fun with it. It's, it's just a great game and the mistakes really don't bother me that much in this game. The second mistake I really want to point out has to do with Pickett's Shield Bash. Now, when you do Shield Bash, it specifically says that you take out any rolled dice, you take out any dice in the active slot, and you take out any dice that are in the lock slots. And when it comes to his Shield Form die that we lock that has that infinite symbol, remember that stays throughout the whole game unless something pulls it out. And this counts as a shield, so it will be exhausted whenever you do a shield bash. And I completely forgot about that. Just totally slipped my mind whenever I was looking at shields. So do know that that's a mistake that I continue to make in this video. So I did just want to take a minute and talk about those two errors that will continue to persist through this gameplay because I filmed it before now. And people in the community are so kind of helping me catch the mistakes that I missed. But do continue to look down in the description below i'll add any other mistakes that people point out so that's enough correction time let's get back to playing too many bones Welcome back down to the table, everyone, for episode three of our first playthrough of Too Many Bones. Last time, we gained a little more on our skill tree and beefed ourselves up just a little bit, and we made it all the way to Shellfist, which means that we have six progress points on day six. We're getting ready to go to day seven. Remember, we have 10 days to defeat Drillin, so we could take them on right now. Now, on the start of this turn, because we have the requisite number of progress points, six right here. We turn it to day seven, and now we have a choice. We can either continue as normal, now we'll gain progress points, but we don't really need any more. Or we can choose to take on Drellin. Now there's a benefit to both. One, if we keep on, then we lose another day, but we can hopefully beef up just a little bit more. But if we go ahead and take on Drillin, if we fail, we can then keep trying the next day and give ourselves more attempts at beating him up until we finish day 10. So there's a benefit to each. But if we take him on and we lose, we're not going to gain anything. So let's look at the back of this card. It says, play Drillin in lane one. Draw a bag bog type baddies and place in lanes two and three then for a party of one so that's that's before you do baddie points or anything else party of one to two which would be us two one point bog type baddies then we do bq baddie points so we would have 14 points worth of baddies and that's ooh, that's pretty gruff and then each Moved position in this battle requires two decks instead of one. That's tough. Tyrant skills, bog ruler. If any bog type baddies are on the battle mat, Drillin cannot lose HP. Poison has no effects on Drillin. And then he has the tyrant die. He has poison enhancer. Set an existing poison effect die to three on Drillin's targets. Or, and poison two targets are poison for two place effect die on the targets so there's a lot going on here but essentially we have bog type baddies that we're going to draw we have drillin on the mat 
and then we have whatever our body points is. So obviously that's going to be more than four characters and baddies on the mat. So what's going to happen is we're going to have a queue down here. So I'll use these are our discarded ones so far. So let's say we had four out there. Here's a discarded five. And we would end up having these, of course, face down. We would have these waiting. And when one's taken off, the next one comes on and takes its place. So it's pretty nasty. Pretty nasty. So the other benefit of taking on Drellin earlier is we have less powerful baddies that we have to deal with in addition to him. So that's pretty rough and we're at a really tough choice, but I think I'm going to go try to go one more day. I'm going to go one more day of encounter. So let's draw an encounter card and we have, oh, our Molnor traders. This is the one that we shuffled in on encounter three when we were crossing the Cibaron. So this is where we hired the Molnor and we shuffled this special encounter. So the Molnor have come back. The Molnor are a sticky bunch, always showing up at the most opportune times, well for them, despite requiring payment in full and up front when selling their services, they also show up at random to demand extra coin or loot for no good reason at all. Unfortunately, they have leverage. Knowing the importance of keeping this adventure secret from the Aban, these silly games are tiring. Again, they approach, demanding participation in contests clearly stacked in their favor. So we have two choices. Another challenge. This will waste valuable time. Each gearlock must complete their own Dangerous Darts challenge. Dangerous Darts is a mini game that's in the rulebook that we can play. Or, and the odds are against us in that. Or, no more games, this stops now. So, this is the first one we've had where we have a peaceful option or a combat option. Peaceful option gets us a loot. And this question mark means that if we won, win, e, uh, Gearlock may draw two loot. If we lose, Gearlock must discard one loot. So, down here we would have, we would gain more progress points, more training points, and each Gearlock would get a loot. But we'd have to battle. It'd be BQ baddie points. And we've already said that that's 14 right now. So, I'm actually thinking, I, I, Dangerous Darts, we're just learning the rules, so no need to complicate it anymore. That's my justification. Let's go through another battle. No more games. This stops now. So, BQ baddie points. Now, it also has a special rule. Each gear lock takes damage equal to your party size at the start of battle. Oh, conniving, backstabbing little guys. 7 times 2 is 14. That means we draw 10 worth of 5s and four worth of ones. And we have this griffin yearling that we scouted out a while back. Now, the fives go on top, always the biggest first, and then we draw in order. Okay, so our first one is going to be, oh, the dire wolf. We met the pup, I believe. So this has lash back two, meaning if we hit him, he's gonna hit us for two back if we don't kill him. Rolls a whopping four attack, has a health of six, and an initiative of four. So, of course, going into lane one is melee, and we need six health. Six health right there. Give him an initiative of four, so pretty fast. Our second five is, oh no, it is a goblin alarmist. Six health, six initiative, very fast. Two defense one attack and is ranged and has signal two so let's go ahead and get him set up uh, let's see there's six right there and initiative of six now signal says each turn this unit takes it signals a baddie to join the battle after one baddie add one baddie to the bottom of the bq 20 points, single 5 points, 5 points, single 1 points. After the unit signals the number of baddies, this skill no longer trigger, triggers. 
So he's basically going to add three baddies to the queue when he activates. So I'm not going to put them in yet. I'm just pulling them out. So these will be the three baddies that he potentially can signal. And I'm going to leave them in that order just so we do it when it's time. And that just helps me keep track of how many times he's done it. Okay, so then we have this Griffin Yearling. We've seen one of these. Uh, two, five initiative, and attacks for two. So not crazy strong, but goes fast at an initiative of five. And can still hit decently hard. So he is melee in round three, or lane three. Then we have... A mischievous, careless goblin bomber. Also ranged, uh, three health, five initiative, and one attack. So, and he attacks two. He atta he's going to attack both of ours both times. So, we need three. He goes at a whopping five. These are all pretty fast enemies. And he's going in lane four right here. And that is battle setup for the enemies. We do not get to look at these, and I'll keep these separate. So these will come in first. When he signals, one will go underneath. And I'm sure we'll see that happen. Okay, so at the very beginning, they're going to each take two hits. And he still has his down one. Oh, no. So, he has four health, the gray is three, remember? And he has five health, so he's the stronger of the two. And we should remove one from this, because at the start of each day, remove one HP for spoilage. And I think I'm going to say that I, I've forgotten about that. So, it says outside of battle. So, at the beginning of this day, I would have healed him up, and that would have... So there were four on this, three, four, five, six, seven. So I healed him for one, and then one spoiled. So that means that he would have five left. Three, four, five. Okay. So that takes care of that, and then we take the two away from him. That would have been... Smart, because you don't want that to spoil. Sorry, I forgot about that one. And we also have, don't forget, the exploding mushrooms, uh, where we can uh, permanently reduce all of our backup plans on him. Okay, so we've got a lot going on here. I think my first priority is going to be trying to take out him first. And I'd really like to put him charging up to take him out, but I think that we're going to put Pickett so that he can kind of be a defensive wall against this. So then he'll take, try to take out this one, I think. I think. That's the plan. Well, let's roll some initiative dice and see what we have first. That's not set in stone. Oh, ouch. Well, so Patches rolled high and Pickett rolled low. Hmm. Not great. Okay, so rethinking this, maybe I want to move him here because that poison die could come in pretty handy. But I think I'll keep him. I think I keep him. Because he's going to fire at the weakest, which right now I can choose. He's going to attack. We're going to make him come down here. And then he's going to attack by moving over. Ah. Not going fast is painful. Actually, this is fine. This is fine. Okay, we're not going to be able to get to that go goblin alarmist. This setup is just way too advantageous for, for him. All right, let's see what we can do then. So, we start with the goblin alarmist. He's going to signal. Th so, this goes on the bottom of here. And... Then he is going to attack the weakest, which we're going to say is Patches. We need to roll Patches' defense first for his innate. 
Always forget shield block. Oh, nice roll. Nice roll. One, one, and two. And let's not forget that he has a bonus. He heals one at the beginning of each turn. He has a bonus shield, and he attacks. He gets a plus one attack each turn. So he's going to roll one and roll two defense die. He's going to target patches. He rolls them up, and he gets a miss on that. He gets a two shield right there, and he hits for one. So we'll take that out. Okay, next goes the Griffin Yearling. Griffin Yearling is going to move one, two, and he's going to attack for two. So we need one of one of these. He's taking flight. I just didn't want to forget. He hits for two. So we can just defend for one. I for, don't can't forget about that each turn. Then we have our mischievous, careless goblin. He's going to go after Picket first. Uh, he does have mischief one, so he's going to knock this out. Crud. So he hits for one. We do have that automatic shield there. And now he's going to go after Patches, who has no defense. He hits for one. Patches loses a health. And that's good. Now it's Patches' turn. So we have a lot of options with Patches. First of all, we have three attack. He has one defense. And we have these that we can roll. I usually like starting off with that. Just because if I lock it in, then whenever I need to heal, then I don't have to roll, take up two roll slots or two decks. I think I'm going to roll that. I think I'm definitely going to move here. So that's one, two. He has two left. I think we're just going to attack outright. He only has three health. I want to save that for when I need a bigger hit. And I'd like to move over. I'd like to, when he moves over, he's going to move over here and he's going to attack the weakest, which is Patches. Ugh. Well, Patches should heal one at the beginning of his. We can't forget that. That's his innate. Okay, so now they should be equal. Yes. So now we can have him attack Picket and Patches can do some toxins on maybe this dude right here. I think that would be good. Let's just try to take out this right now. Woo, three health. Okay, we got two hits on him. We're going to lock in this times two right here. Two hits, not enough to kill him. He's got one health left. And that is Patches. Now Pup's going to move over. See, so he he's blocking that. That's not good. So I'm really looking for Patches now to get through this maybe and then come up here and take him. Maybe even put the toxins on him. That may not be a bad idea. Of course, he, if he gets to these two, I mean, he's still got, he rolls only one. In the long run, I don't think we can get, if we can't get him down really fast, he, he's kind of neutered after this. He's not as strong once his signal's done. Huh. Well, he's going to roll four. Ouch. Four attack on Pickett. And Pickett has one defense. So, ouch. So he does, this is the one defense. He does two, three, four. Four damage. So that's going to be his three and his one. Woo. He is hurting. It's his turn. He is going to heal one. And he has three defense dice, two attack dice. I really wish his defense was a little higher. Let's see. If we roll three, we could roll one and lock it. I think that's the smart play. All right, let's see. We could also, in battle, heal ourselves for five HP, but we'd add a poison to ourselves. Mm. Do I think he can last one more round? I actually don't. 
Let's see what we roll and then we'll see if we use that. Okay. So he's got a repost we can lock. He has a bones. And he gets two singles. I think we do this. I think we go ahead and we're going, this is a single use. Heal ourselves for five, three, four, five. That's back up to full health. And then he gets a poison to effect die on him. So he's going to lose two of that back. That's, that's not a terrible trade-off. Especially since he heals one each turn. That can be kind of negated. Alright. So that's Vicka's turn. We go to round two. Alright. He's going to signal. He's targeting the weakest, which now we made that patches. He's going to roll one against patches. And he does one damage. Now we have this guy is going to swoop down and attack Picket. He attacks for two dice straight up. And, oh, he misses completely on one. But he makes up for it by rolling a two on the other. So mm, we can do that and we have that. That was not great. But he's able to be hit now. So now we have our mischievous, careless goblin. So going after him first, he's going to knock that out. He's going to roll one against pickets, and he hits for one. Let's see, one. And then he's going to go against patches, hits patches, he misses. Complete. Uh, but he's careless. So careless means that... This unit loses one HP. So when he misses, he breaks his arrow and hits himself. So guess what? He just knocked himself out. That is fantastic. Okay, so what happens now is that this one is going to go at the bottom of the initiative meter. So what we'll do is we'll take out this one and put it right here. It doesn't matter what initiative it's going to be. It's always going to come in slow. So possibly we can move up, we're, well not possibly, we're going to end up moving up this as we go. And on its turn it will just come onto the board. Okay. So next is Patches, Patches gets to heal one. Back up to six, out of a seven. And then he's going to roll a Toxin. I think he's going to move. I really don't want the Lashback to happen. I think he's going to roll this, this, and one attack die. So he's going to move. That's one. He has three left. So Toxin, um, Bone Saw, and a regular attack. All on this guy right here. So let's see. We get a double Bones we can use. Um, doo -doo -doo. We have a one we can use and a one. That would get rid of that, but that's a big waste of this die that goes all the way up to three. So we're just going to say no to that. I think this would allow us to do a needle jab, which would do two damage. And then we would do one more. Or we could just do one and take this down. Um, he wouldn't get to re-roll it. I think we're going to do that. Uh I'd rather would have pasted a toxin on him. Okay, so we're going to do that. We're just going to hit him for one. It's really all we did. Kind of a bummer. Okay, now this dude's going to go. He's going to go after Pickett. And he's rolling four. Lovely. And I have only one defense. So all four are hits. And he gets to ignore one. So three damage. So we're going to take the gray one out. He has three health left. It's his turn to go. He loses, loses one and gains one. So he stays at three health. We're going to roll two defense dice and two attack dice against this guy right here. Yeah, I think so. I think we're just going to get him off the board. All right, so we got a two. We got a one. We have a miss, and we have a two. So that's enough to kill him off. 
That's our second victim. And we can't shield bash him because he was not our target. And we would have had a... So we actually technically hit him for three. Not bad. Not bad. All right. So now we have this dude coming on and we have two spots available. So the next two chips are going to come on. And they're going to come on in lane order. So let's take out the yellow die. The first one going in lane three. Oh, the dire wolf brought its pup. It has three health, three initiative. The initiative is not going to matter. And it does one damage or one die. So let's give him three health. And he's going in lane three. He has melee, so he goes right there. Our next one is going to be... Uh, 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 found a three on here. The next one's going to be... Oh, bog frog. So Barfar is not going to hit, but has poison too, and he is melee. So he's going to go right here and has four health. Ugh. Poison is not what I need right now. All right, we're going to round three. This dude's going to call in the last reinforcement. He is now going to attack the weakest. One, two, three, which is going to be him. So he attacks for one, he does one damage that's easily shrugged off. Then Patches gets to go, Patches heals back up to full health. And I think we're going to try again to roll this toxin. And I think we're going to try to heal. That's two, and then two regular attacks. Yeah, all against this goblin alarmist just because we're there all right so we miss and i just skipped this one because all of them are moved down one we do roll a poison two we can use and we can use a heal of up to four which is exactly how much you need so we're going to exhaust both of those dice and bring him back up to full health okay and now we can do one damage here and we can put a poison two on him. I like it. The dire wolf mama is going to go and attack Pickett for four. Ugh. We did get a miss, but got three ones. So we're going to take that out, and that'll count as the third. Pickett's going to go. He's going to lose one and heal one. So that is gone. But we'll keep it out because that bog frog may need it. And I have a choice. I can attack this one. But it's going to lash back at me. Or I can attack, move one and attack this one and try to get rid of poison. Poison is not too terrible with these characters because they heal one when, when it, this is locked in. Uh, each character heals one at the beginning. So, I think I'm going to attack this dude and try to get him off the board. So, let's see. We can roll. We have one locked. So, let's do... We technically have two attack dice and two defense dice. And we can use one of these. So I think I want to try to roll this repost. Because then next time he attacks me, I can ignore the damage and do three back if I spend two of these. So I think we're going to do that. I think we're going to roll two defense die, a repost, and one attack all on this pup. Or on the mama. So... We need to figure out how we're going to do this because I only have one open slot. I did get a switch. Um, I don't think I want to switch. Um, oh, actually, that would save me a move. That would save me a move. I tell you what, we'll, we will. We'll use a switch. It's exhausted. We're going to switch here, and that will save me a movement next when I need to move. Uh, dexterity, just maximizing that is great. Okay. 
So we can do a shield bash. We can attack him for one and do a shield bash. So let's attack for one. He's down to five. And then we do a shield bash. And shield bash is any that are up here and any rolled. So it's like they were locked in. So we can do three more damage. One, two, three to him. And he has two health left. Unfortunately, that is not enough to completely kill him off. So he's going to hit back for two. I can block one and I take one. Okay, so then we have our pup is going to try to come over. It can't make it, so we get to choose. It can come here or it can come here. Let's say here because then Pickett has an easy target. Then we have our poison bog frogs going to poison the strongest one, which is patches for two, and I'm okay with that. All right, round four. We're definitely going to be doing some attrition rounds here. Okay. Round four, we have our signaling goblin is not going to do anything. He's going to attack the weakest, which is Picket. So... He rolls one attack, and he does have get one defense. But at the beginning, he gets he loses one health because of the toxins. Okay, and then we have one shield, and toxins break through the shield, and one hit, which is ignored by Picket. Then Patches gets to go. He loses one, heals one. I think we're going to roll this. That's one, two three and I think we're gonna roll a defense die I think we need to just to have up there or maybe just to get a bones hmm because I'd really like to do the needle jab so let's see what we get we get a bones uh, we get another we'll lock that in we get another one I really don't want to do that if I don't have to, but there's two. We can do four damage to him and he has how much health? One, two, three, four, five. So right now that's not gonna do enough to do anything anyway. So we'll do one damage that takes that down. And then we'll do a needle jab for two more damage. One, two, he's down to three health. And then maybe next turn we can get Get him down with that die. Or just three regular dies. Maybe. So that was Patch's turn. We now have our mama going and rolling four against Picket. This is going to hurt. Woo! And did get one miss, but made up for it by rolling two twos. So we can ignore one and take four damage. Ouch. Three, four. Patches is going to need to heal him up a little bit. Actually, we could. We could, thinking about it. Let's use our repost and just ignore all damage. Ignore all damage. Now, we don't get to do any damage back because we don't have two. But we can use that and that's exhausted now. Okay, I'm good with that. He's going to heal one. All right, back up to full health, and we're going to roll three defense dice and one attack, probably against this lash back. Okay, so we get a bones, we get a bones, we can shield bash for two, and that's going to kill him. So we'll shield bash for two, and he's gone. That's going to be on the board. Put him in our defeated pile. And pull out his die to go right there. Let's see. That's going to be the lashback pup. He is going to move now to try to get around. He's just a little lost pup. And then our poison two is going to just, because this has poison two, he's going after the strongest. I think bo both are at full health. So he's still targeting whichever we choose. We're going to target here. It's just going to bump it back up to two. 
That's all that does. Bumps it back up to whatever the number is. Okay, we have one spot available. It would be in lane one. And it's another bog frog, poison two. Ah, so bad. Okay, four health. He wants to go into lane one. There's his die. And he can't because it's blocked. At least the melee spot is. So then you start with one, two, three, four. You find the first open melee. If that was taken, then you start over again at one and find the first open lane. So he's going to go there and... Yeah, we know the drill. Okay, round five. I don't know if we can outlast this attrition. So we have the Goblin Signaler is going to target the weakest, both are at full health. We're gonna have him target Picket. He only rolls one. Ah, he, he does get one through though. Okay, oh, and also he should have taken one at the beginning. So, he is down to two health. Fantastic. And he should have rolled uh, two defense dice. So let's give him those two defense die, or yeah, two defense dice. I actually forgot to roll a defense dice last time, I believe. So he has two there. All right. So now Patches is going to go. He's going to lose one, heal one. And then, oh, I think we're going to go one, two, three, four. All out against this one right here. Oops. So we need all four to be hits. Ah, geez. So we can save this one. We have a one on this one. Let's save the bone saw because we got two four hits on these. So one, two, and then two more. He is gone. He goes in our five point batty stack. Great job, patches. All right, Pickett's turn to go. Pickett's going to heal one back. And he's going to go after this poison frog and leave this one for patches. So he wants to roll. Let's see. He can roll two attack dice. He can roll three defense dice. And we still have this one, which I think we might roll. Because if we roll a switch... We roll a switch, we'd be in good shape. I don't really need the defense dice right now, so let's do these three and I guess one. Actually, we should do a shield bash. I'm gonna save my shield bash. We're gonna roll these right here. See what we get, okay. So I do two damage to him. He's down to two. I get one there, uh, plus I do one more damage, so one. So I could do a shield bash. I could do a shield bash and take him out. I think that's the right thing to do. Well, no, let me think about it. He's going to go after the strongest person. That's going to be either one right now, and the, he'll just bump that back up to two. So I think I'm going to save my shield bash and build it back up. Uh, actually, I think I do. I think I'll show bash him. So, just to clear him out. Just to clear him out. He's gone. Worst things may come, but that's what we got. Alright. So now we're going to have both the last two enemies in this battle are coming on. And they are going to... He's going to move. That's open to lane for him right there. And he's going to attack for one. He hits for one. Patches, or Picket is, just shrugs it off. And then Poison Frog, number two. That's up to two. So we need green and we need purple out of here. And first comes in purple. So we have a, oh, the Clay Golem. That's fine. I, I can shield bash him. He's only five health. That seems low now. So five health. He's coming in on lane two, but can't because Picket is there. So he's going to come in on lane three because he's melee. And that's the purple die right here. Doesn't matter what the number is. And then our last one is going to be all. Oh, 
the bog pole, little baby bog pole. It's upset about the mama bog pole. So melee or ranged coming in on lane four can't because lane four has patches on it. Way to unknowingly block. So coming in on lane one instead. Guess what? We're on round six. Ah, everybody loses one. So one there, one there, one here, one here, one here, and one here. That three needs to go back up here. So Patches gets to go first. He heals what he just lost. Well, he doesn't because he takes one and heals one. So that goes down by one. And then he's going flat out on the poison here. So he's going to roll all four of these. And what do we get? We get two misses. Well, that's basically two hits. And we get a three. Oh, nice. But I think I might save it. Because we can hit for one and needle jab for two. Yeah. Uh, I hate to lose a three, but kills him off. One, two, three. He's gone. Goes in our one point. And he will not be poisoning us anymore, but his little baby will. All right. Pickett gets to heal one at full health. And... We're going after, well, one, two. He can't reach us if we don't kill him. Huh. So, yeah, but let's go after him. We're still going to go after him. We're just going to roll these three and this one. Okay. Ah, uh, two bones. Two bones. Four shield bash. We could shield bash for one. I'm not going to. I'm going to save it. And we did get a switch. I think I'm going to save that as well. Whoops. Save that as well. Now we do get to attack for one. Us. Ah, we could show bash and just finish him off. But then these, this guy's coming up. We'll just take one off of him. And then the this will do the rest. Now we have him. He's going to hit for one or attack for one. He misses. Oh, uh, we should, He should have lashed back for one though. So... We would, we would uh, block that. All right. And then we have no blue on here. Let's put that up here. Purple is going to go one, two. And then our poison dude is going to target poison one. That's already at one. And he's going to part target two. So he gets a poison one as well. Next round. Lose one, lose one, lose one, and he's gone. Lose one, and lose one, he has one health. Patches, loses one, heals one. And he is going to move over, whoops, move over, that's one dex. He has three left to attack this poison bog pole. He's going to roll three attack dice and he easily gets them. So we are good there. All right. Things are looking good for us. Patches is going to lose one, heal one, and I actually think we're just going to roll two and two. I think we're going to roll two and two. All right, that sounds really good. So, let's see what we get. Now, we didn't target anybody, so we can't hit them. So, those are wasted. I was just trying for bones. And we're going to pop this back into here and put in. Some extra shielding there. All right, next round. Loses one. Loses one. Loses one. He is down to two.
Patches goes first. He heals one. And huh. he's going to he's gonna move one. He is going to roll this, roll this. Yep, I think he's just gonna roll these two. He's gonna roll these two. And we got a bones. I was looking for that, so we have a heal gear lock. And we got a treasure. That's why I was rolling that. So let's get a loot. Multi tool. During anyone's lockpick attempt, at one, two, an action might die result. That's not very helpful right now. Three uses. Okay, that was patches. Yeah, it was worth a try. Pickett's going to heal one as well. He's back up to six. And. Uh uh uh. uh. I think he's going to move down and yeah, I should have moved him down. I was thinking, I wasn't thinking for some reason I was thinking I wanted him to move up and be in between us, but you know what? It would have been smarter to move. So he's going to use his two attack die. He has all of his defense tied up. He'll use his, this one. Actually, we will do take one of these out. Yeah, we'll take one of these out. So, we roll bones, we get another one, so that did nothing really. All right, so we get one, and that breaks. So we've done one damage to him, we're going to shield bash and do another damage to him, and he's dead. And that's it. That was uh, a lot more... A lot more work, but we did it. We did it. Okay, let's clean everything up and then we'll look at our rewards. So everything is tidied up and we have our victory pile right there. And here we have, we get one progress point. We're already where we need to be, it's no big deal. We get two training points per character and one loot per character. So let's start with loot, and then we'll add some training points right here and right here. Let's see. Pick it, you did good. Heal any gear lock for two HP. Zelfie seed, single use, not bad. Always helpful. Mixed berries, heal yourself for three points in battle or five points out of battle. Woo! Now he has his max of four right now. And he can give some to pick it, but I mean, it's not that big of a deal right now. And we get two training points. Well, I know for him, the first thing I want to do is try defense again. So, three defense dice, and we get one miss. We roll that one. It's a success. We get to bump up our defense, finally. Fantastic. And I think we're going to do the same thing with him and attack. So, three attack. No whammies. Ah, oh, he did get one. Okay, not a problem. Then I think let's bump his health up to one more. So, he now has three, four, five, six, seven, eight health. Of course, two are still missing from the last battle. So, that's one each. Now we're doing really well. Um, I think I'll go ahead and finish up the Warden class with Rush. And Rush is going to be the one that has three movement on it. Three movements. And then two repost and one switch. So just give me more options with these combinations. I love it's So switch is going to have more. Three switch, two move, one repost. Rush has three move, one repo or one switch and two repost. Repost has three repost, two switch, one move, and situational awareness has two of each. So that'll be good. So I think we're gonna go for finishing up the combat medic class with the zap pack. Now the zap pack, it's if we lose Pickett, this is great because we can heal him 
revive him for with three, four, or even five health. But I really want it for the three or four hit. Three or four hit would be really good. But that's only a 33% chance. But it's there if we need it, if we need to boost an attack, or if we need to revive. I could boost his attack again instead, but I think I'm not. I think I'm not. Okay, so that's his second training. For his second training, we did that, so our training is good to go. So now we have uh, lock picking. We don't need to do uh, loot trading. I think moving this over to him is probably a good idea. And then uh, we need to do individual options, so we're gonna heal back up. Ooh. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm actually feeling really good. So, let's put all those one points back and all those five points in the discard. And we move on to a new day, day eight. The question is, how good do I feel? Well, one of these spoils, you know, I could have scouted and used that instead, but mm, I may save it just in case just in case we can't defeat him. I think I'm going after Drillin this turn. I think we're going after Drillin. I think it's time. Okay, so on this day, we skip drawing and we go to the Battle of the Bog. So, place Drillin in lane one. So it's time to flip him over. And he has eight health. So we're gonna give him two threes, a six, and two ones. That's eight. He's going in lane one. He is melee. He has an initiative of five. So he's pretty fast. Where's my five? And then look at this. He rolls three attack, two defense, and his special die. So we always put a special die on top of him so we don't forget to roll it. And a special die, just as a reminder, it can give poison. And it gives two poison on two sides, three sides. And then on three sides, it boosts poison up to three. So it says that down here, uh, if it gets this, it's poison two. Poison enhancer, set any existing poison effect dice to three on Drellin's targets. And he does target both, uh, or target two if he can. So what we don't want to do is get in a situation like this before we're ready to start whaling on him because he can attack twice in that case. Okay, so that's Drellin. And then we need bog type baddies and place in lanes two and three. Okay, so the two one point bog type baddies, we were at the end of our one point stack, so I reshuffled them. We're looking for the first two bog types. There's a poison frog, and that's not bog. 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 We get the baby. Shoo. I think the dude with break is a <laughs> poison bog type, or is a bog type. Okay, so that happens before we build our batty queue. So he came out first. He's going in lane uh two and he's going in lane three up there we'll we'll set those up in just a second okay then we have the batty q made of batty points we have eight times two is 16. so we're going to pull five ten fifteen three five point baddies on top and one one point baddie off the top of that. And then slot those undraw back in in case we need them for signals. Woo! Well, the good news is only one five point baddie can come out right now. So let's go ahead and set these up. Uh, he's got four health. Now the reason that, again, these come out, the reason they're pulling these out is he has this special ability. If there are any bog type baddies on the battle mat, drilling cannot lose HP. 
poison has no effect on drilling anytime. So even if we are in round six, if there are poison or uh, bog type, these green icon type, if there's even one of those on the board, he can't even lose to that attrition. So that is not fun. So we have five, three, we have a three here, and he has three health. And then the last one coming on, oops, we forgot to put this with drilling. So what did I do? Uh, so th this should be on, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, five. Wasn't thinking. Okay, so our last one is a five point baddie and ah, it is one with signal. So I'll go ahead and pull out a signal one right there. And he has mischief two. So that means he's gonna knock out two and signal one. He is melee, this is the goblin sapper. He is melee and he rolls three dice. So it has five health. There we go. And then he goes at a four. Okay, so it's gonna be these, and then that's the signal. All right, are we ready for this? I don't know, but maybe. <laughs> all right, let's roll our initiative dice. We get threes all around. I think I like patches going first. So put those smack dab in the middle, pull those down. Let's not forget to roll all four defense dice for Pickett for his innate ability. All right, so one miss, that's not bad. Two, one, and one to start off. All righty, I'll take it. We need to position our gear locks. Now, Patches does have one more health point starting off than Pickett, so he is technically the strongest. Ugh. I think we're gonna put Pickett here, Patches here. I can't attack him. I'm not really worried about that bog pole right now. We just need to take these out and whittle through this stack because there may be more bog baddies in this stack. Round one, let's go. So, Drillin gets to go first. He's going to move and he's going to attack with this die. Always roll this die. He gets three attack dice and two defense dice. Ooh. All right, so that does nothing. It's basically a whiff as long as there's no poison on us right now. Uh, he does miss with that. He does get one with that one. And he hits for three. Well, we automatically can do one. So two more. Um, let's pop that one out. Okay, way to go drilling. This dude is going to go against the weakest, but he can't reach him. So he's going to go to this. And that's one reason I did it is because I didn't want him losing dice if possible. Um, so he's going to signal one. This goes on the bottom. And then he can't signal anymore. So mischief two, there's nothing locked in. He is going to attack for three here. So this is going to hurt. And he gets, ooh, he gets a miss, but he gets four hits, ouch. So there's four gone and he has four left. Patches gets to go. Patches heals one. And then we're gonna roll this to lock it in. We're going to roll that, I believe. And Let's see, he can roll four. So let's get all of his options out. He can roll those, he can roll this. I, I wouldn't mind rolling a... Mm. Okay, let's just go all out. Try to take him out. Worry about defense later. Okay, 
Poison two times three. I'm going to lock that down. That's great. And then two hits. All right. He has three health left. That's not terrible. Not bad at all. Pickett gets to heal one. He doesn't have any he needs to heal. So he is going to target this poison frog. He's going to roll one, two, three, four. I think so. I don't think he's going to use these right yet. All right. So we get a bones. That's good. We get a two. That's fantastic. And we can do two damage here. One, two. He's going to go. He's going to get payback. Poison two. I need some poison dice. And he's going to target the strongest. They are equal right now. Uh, no, they're not. One, two, three. Uh, strongest is going to be Pickett, so that's who I was going to choose anyway. Two on him. And this isn't good because now that, that die is going to hit. He's either going to bump this back up to two if it's down or bump it up to a three. Not great. Okay, he's going to poison one on everybody. Well, since his poison is lower than this, it doesn't have an effect. But he is going to poison one on patches. That's round one. Didn't kill anybody off. So, Drillin's going to go. He has one and then three. Okay. And he gets another defense. He does roll this. We can't forget to do that. And he's going to enhance. So this is going to bump up to three. And he does three damage. We can block two of it. All right. And then our mischievous goblin sapper is going to go. He loses a health. He's down to two, but he is going to roll three attack on patches. And he gets two hits. One, two. So patches is down to three health. Mm, not great. Patches gets to go. He loses one and heals one. And then I think, I think we need to roll that or maybe nutrients. Roll nutrients. I think we roll nutrients. That's one, two, three, and four. We're targeting him. Actually, don't even need to hit him. I only need to hit him for one. So let's uh, let's actually roll a defense dice. Hit him for one. Come on. All right, so we hit him for one. He's gone. Next turn. Not yet. He's gone. Don't have to worry about him. We get one defense. We can lock down. We can heal for up to four. I think what I'm going to do... is I'm going to not use this one. I'm going to use this and this. That heals to six. He has five missing health, so that'll get him back on top. Patch's turn. Pickett goes. He can't, he has nothing to heal. Well, he loses one, then heals one. He is going to go after this poison frog. Two attack. One, two defense. Yeah. All right, we have a two we can lock in here. We have a miss. He hits for two. That kills him off. First blood. And then we have the single that we're just going to lose. We're not going to use it. That's that one. Now he poisons one. He's going to poison two characters. So one back on him. All righty. Now we have this five-point baddie coming on, and it is a manacor. Oh, he's nasty. Six health. There's six health. 
He's coming in on lane two and he is ranged, which is not good. Now, he has an initiative of three, that's not gonna matter. And he has this ugly, ugly rate. He has poison two, which is kind of going on. He is a bog enemy. So he's we have to get rid of him before we can take on Drellin. Drellin's just getting free shots to everybody. But he has this ugly rage two ability. So what rage two is, is rage number. If this unit is not at full HP, it gains the number of additional attack dice. So right now he doesn't even hit. So we really want to put him off as long as possible. But once we do even one damage to him, he starts rolling two hit dice on us. So he's, he's nasty. Okay, that's round two. We're going to round three now. So Drellin gets to roll three attack dice and this on Picket. He gets a miss. He gets an enhance back up to three. And then he gets three hits, which is only two hits. We'll pop this off. So, so far, he's really not doing anything we can't handle, which means that we're, we're built up just enough, I think. So then we go to this dude. He takes one damage, and he's out of here. He's out of here. He is a first five-point casualty. Patches gets to go, he heals, he doesn't need to. Patches, I think, wants to go one, two, three. And he'll attack for one. Yeah, he'll attack for one. And he gets one hit. So, down to two health. And then, oh, actually, I couldn't do that. I couldn't do that. Let's take that back. Let's take that back. Uh, it costs two decks to move. So one, two, three, four. This is as far as he could go. So he couldn't do any damage to him after all. And he should have lost one, healed one. So that comes off. Now, Pickett gets to go and he blocked Pickett. I think Pickett's going to just stay where he is right now. Uh, I don't like that. One, two, three, four. And that means we're putting patches in a bullseye right there. So let's just go one, two right there. So what I'm doing is I'm getting myself ready for whatever that is. Because that's going to come out in lane four. If I block it, it'll come out in lane one, here, here. Or it could come out here, which would be okay. But I, don't, I can't guarantee that it's going to be ranged. So hopefully just setting myself up. So one, two, he's got two left. Uh, let's roll, let's roll some defense dice. Get some bones. Oh yeah, you definitely get some bones. So the next one is do over, which means you can roll, re-roll some dice. He's gonna poison one to everybody. So it means one poison back there. And then he poisons two. So this is gonna pop up to two because he, he, he attacks two people but he I mean I poison two is just it's okay this I can handle that okay round four I don't know that we can handle attrition though very well round four uh, oh we have this one coming in sorry so we get a mischief to another goblin sapper mmm not great so he is melee he is going here he's getting five health so good call going there. He does have a signal one though. So we're gonna put an enemy down here. Oh, uh, and mischief two, that's not good. Alrighty, so round four, drilling gets to go first and I've put myself in a situation where drilling gets to attack both targets and that is bad. That is bad. So we'll go after Pickett first. He's going to attack for two, uh, we just can do that. He's going to attack Patches. Patches does have one shield, so he's gonna take two damage. One, two, and loses that shield. Not great. But that does change what he does. So he loses one, heals one. 
Oh, we didn't do this, sorry. Uh, that actually goes up to three, so now it'll be two. That's already at three. Can't forget that die. Okay, so now Patches loses one, heals one. He's down to two. He has four that he can go against this. So, I think one, two, three. I think, I think we'll roll these. Yeah. Okay, so we're doing three damage out of his five. He's down to two. Oops, two. And we get one shield. And yes, he'll sap that. He could sap that out, but I'm more worried about this. But I was hoping for bones, actually. Okay, so Pickett gets to go. Pickett heals one, loses one, heals one. He's going to go after him. We're going to try to just knock him down. We're going to roll two attack dice and two defense dice for a four against him. Ooh, 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 ooh. We are filled up. So two damage to him kills him off. And we are done with the five point baddies after we kill him. So that's that's feeling good. But we're done with the five points coming in. So he actually didn't get to signal, which means that one's gonna go back. So if we notice, he is all filled up. Now we haven't done this, so let's let's look at what uh, his backup plan options are. So we've seen Shield Bash, Do Over, Benevolence, uh, Do Over is reroll any dice, Benevolence, he'll pick it for two HP, but also add a two so add a defense die with a value two on it to his active slot always a great option shield shock perform backup plan shield bash also pickets non tyrant target is stunned add a stun effect die to the target and the stun means that target loses his next turn so that shield shock is great however there's only five slots down here, but if we could get six, we upgrade to an eight plus one. Uh, in addition to a shield wall benefits, Pickett may also put rolled defense dice, white only, uh, in his lock slots, even during battle. So what that means is that he could have, more, right now we're stuck at three. Whoops, we're stuck at three. We could actually start using these locked and do a huge shield bash. You could do a huge shield bash. So what happens is that it's really hard to see, probably even worse on camera. Uh, right now we're using this side, but once if we trade in all six, he has this side, which has stars around it, going all the way around it. That is his level up. Now, I doubt we'll be going for that. I probably would just use it for the shield shock, but it's good to know. So while we're at it, let's look at patches. If he can get to his an eight plus one, he gets major recovery. Right now he's only healing himself one each turn. Well, first of all, he permanently and instantly increases his health stat die by one. So he pops, he would pop that up from uh, eight to nine, and then he would be able to, at the start of his turn, heal any gear lock for one HP. So he can spread that love around. That's really cool. I really like his innate plus one. Unfortunately, his is the our, our build right now. His is not getting that. Okay, so we've done Pickett's turn. We've done. We're going on to poison one. So Patches is going to get a one poison on him. And then this dude's going to do poison two. I must have just knocked that off. This should be poison too. And then this is off. So this dude's going to come in and it is oh, Goblin Bomber. Mischief 1, Careless, Ranged. So he's coming in with 3 health right here. And that's fine. Except for that Mischief. So put him down there. And that's round 5. Or round four. We're going to round five. Okay, so we're getting close to where... Now remember that no attrition does not happen to him unless there are no 
bog type baddies and we have one way over here in the corner and one way over here we have Drellin still going first he's gonna roll three against each of these guys ouch so against patches he's got two so one damage good thing he missed uh, patches takes one and then against picket and he's the same thing so one two uh, and we should have rolled this so we get this bumped up to three and this bumped up to three patches goes he loses one heals one he is at three four five health he's doing okay i think he's gonna move one two three four to try to take him out so that we can start working on drilling pickett's going to go one two and he heals one. He doesn't need to heal one. And he's going to go after this dude right here. Now, he has three health. So we can... We can roll two attack. One... He moved for two. So we can roll one defense and one attack. Let's do that. One attack, one defense... Oh, nice. Oh, so nice. Uh, so he has one, two hits plus his innate or plus his reoccurring one. That's three. He's gone. Okay. That was great. All right. Poison one, uh, not going to really affect us. And then he's going to poison two. It's not really going to affect us. Oh, he should have lost one, healed one. That's right. Now we have our last enemy coming in. Oh, it's the clay golem with break, and he's a bug type. Oh, so this is what I this is the combo that I hate because you have to pretty much use shield bash for him, and otherwise you're breaking all our equipment and you don't have anything to take him out. So I've learned that the hard way. So he has five health. And unfortunately, because I'm standing on number four, he comes in at number one. Oh, so painful. Good news is that if I can find the blood thing, he, everybody's going to lose one health. So that means that he actually does rage two, which is bad. So one there, one there, one there. Okay, so that's the enemies. And then one for Picket, one for Patches. So Patches is down to four. Drillin's going to go. He's going to move up and attack for three, or with three. And he gets four hits. So one, two, three, four. That takes out all of that. And then Patches is going to lose one, heal one. He still has two health. So I think what we're going to do is roll two, one, and one. I think we're going to do that. Okay, Let's see what we get. We can recover two health. We can do two damage. That's enough to kill him off. All right. Love it. And we get our first bones, which would be a heal of gear lock. Let's go ahead and use that. That's going to heal him for one. And then we can use this two to heal two more. So now he is at four, three, four, five, six, seven. He's at seven of his eight. All right, Pickett gets to go. Pickett's going to go one, two. He's going to roll... Three, two defense dice because he can't roll three. All right. He rolls the bones and he rolls a two. Well, so I do one damage just innately or because of this dice. Um, he loses one and heals one. Uh, and Jalen should have rolled that dice. He would have enhanced it. So it would be two. So I think I don't want to lose that. So I think I'm going to do a shield bash. Oh, we can do shield shock. And stun him. Oh, yes. Okay, let's do a shield shock. We're going to do a big shield bash. 
and stun the mess out of them. So, we're stunned. He's going to be stunned. And we did two damage. One, two. So he's down to two life, but he can't rage hit back. Uh, and then we have this bones that we can put back in. Okay, that we rolled. Alrighty, so he's gone. That means he's going to go, he's stunned, he can't go. Then he's going to go, he's going to attack here. He gets one die. And Patches is going to take one hit. Next round, we have one loss there, one loss here. That's the enemies. We have him down to five. And we have him down to five as well. So sometimes you don't have to clear all of the enemies, but since we just have bog types left, ah, oh, that was just a bad draw. Okay, so now Drillin's gonna go, he's gonna move over, he's going to attack with three dice, and for the first time, I'm not gonna forget to roll that. Okay, so he's gonna pop that to two, it's already there, and then he does two, three, four. So he does three damage to pick it. He has two health left, that's not great. Okay, Patches is gonna go, he heals one, or loses one, heals one. So that's gone. And then we have some deciding to do. I think I'm going to roll one, two, three, four. I think I'm going to roll four against him. Urgh. I'm scared. Okay. So I don't think I want to use much of this. Um, he has one, two, three health. Three health. I use that it's gone but I'm going to I'm going to use that it's broken so one two that can be put up here do I want to use this yeah I think I do that's gonna go back we don't need to revive anybody so that was one two three he has Three health, and he is done for two. So he will play us no more. Uh, Pickett's gonna go, he loses one, heals one. I think we're going to use our mixed berries and heal ourselves for three HP, so we don't die. Now has five on the board. He's gonna go after this mana core. He only needs one hit, so we're gonna roll he has four decks, so we're going to roll three and one. Actually, he's going to get an innate one, so we're just going to roll all four of our decks. Start building up for a good shield bash. Oh, that's painfully a good roll. I want at least one bones. All right, so one, one, one. He's going to get one natural hit on that. And we're looking good. We're looking great. Last five-point baddie. So got three five-point baddies. Then he's gone, so we go to the next round. Now, he loses one, he loses one, and he loses one. That's fantastic. So, that's that. Okay, Drellin gets to go, and he's gonna go roll against Patches. And he rolls three, and his nasty die. And he rolls bones, I'm happy about that. He rolls uh, two defense, so that only pops one of those out. And he rolls an enhancer, which boosts that back up to three. So one, two, three, that's gonna be his stack, so I don't forget. All right. Now, Patches gets to go, he heals himself for one, and he's gonna go one, two, three, four, which just means he's gonna get hit, so let's not do that. Well, he's got one. Okay, Pickett gets to lose one heal one, and he's at four health. Uh, maybe he should be healed back. Actually, let's go here. Let's only do two. And let's roll this and this. Let's 
throw this in this. Yeah. Okay, so we got a two and we got a heal three. So we're gonna heal three here. That brings him back up to full health. I'm good with that. That'll keep him out of harm's way. Okay, now Pickett goes, he loses one, heals one, and he is going to one, two, three, four. Do I do that or do I try repost? All right, I think I'm going to, instead of rolling defense dice, I think I'm gonna roll two attack dice. I'm going to roll situational awareness and repost. I think that's what I'm gonna go for. Let's see, let's look at my options here. Actually, that has more I'm going to do situational, I'm going to leave situational awareness alone and do repost and rush. All right, so target here, we got a miss, so we can shield bash. Uh, we got one hit, so that takes one of these away, that goes back in this pool. And then we did get a repost, we do have another hit, and we could shield bash for two. I'm not I'm not feeling the movement at all, so let's put that back for rush. Let's do a shield bash. We'll take those out. And we're gonna do two more damage to him. So we take one of those threes and give him a one back. So he's at five health. Next round. Loses one. Loses one. Loses one. He's at four health. Oops. Okay, so he's gonna go, he's going to roll all of this against Pickett. And he gets a put two on Pickett, there's already one there. He gets two misses, it means no defense. And he hits for just one because of our ability there. So Pickett will take one damage. Yes, oh, that was a fortunate roll. Man, oh, that's so good. He gets to heal one. He's going to move one, two. He's going to use this to reclaim a die. It's going to be this regular attack dice. And he's going to roll this. Let's see, one. He only gets to roll two, so maybe we save that. Let's roll two, just two regular attack dice. So that's gone. Oh, maybe not. Let's do this instead. Let's, we'll keep this attack die. We're going to get the bone saw back. Ah, oh, because if I don't like it, I can, it's fine. Oh, yes, he misses with that, but he gets a three hit. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, that feels good. That feels good, yes. All right, so he's only gonna have a total of two attack dice. And then Pickett gets to go. Let's roll Rush and Situational Awareness. That's two. And let's just roll two attack dice. We only need to get one. All right, I would stack that. And I would put this back. And I would do one damage to him. And he's dead. Woohoo! We did it. We defeated Drillin. But we did it. We did it. We defeated Drillin. We saved the land. No longer is he the bog ruler. He is just a stinky corpse. And oh man, that feels so good. I love, 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 love this game. Let's go back up top. And that was Too Many Bones, our first solo playthrough. And any future games that we play, we won't do the full tutorial overview of this. We'll just dive in and do a full playthrough of our future games. This is one of the games that I consider a legacy game for me. And I don't mean legacy in the terms of like pandemic legacy, where you tear up cards and you have a perpetuating storyline. Um, more of a lifestyle game or a lifetime game, a game that I don't ever see leaving my collection. Obviously, I've invested some time and money in getting all of this. I love this game so much. And this is a game that I can play 
ad nauseum that I can continue to play and I don't just don't see leaving. Now there's so much to talk about why I love this game, but I did a lot of that in my top solo games of 2020. There'll be a link up top that you can click on that if you haven't seen it. Just go to number one because this was my number one new to me game in 2020. But briefly, if I had to pick just a couple things, I love I love the tactical battle map. I love it. Uh, first couple games I played, I was like, OK, there's not much decision. You just sit there and let enemies will on you. Well, that's one choice you can do. Uh, moving is, is a hard choice because you want to roll so many dice and, and moving just takes that away from you. And sometimes positioning, I, it, it takes me a while to figure out where to put my gear locks in the very first uh, setup of the battle. That strategy that goes there and trying to anticipate what's going to happen and think through the future rounds and how to use that attrition die whenever it gets to round six. I love that. I love that. And then also each gear lock just there's so much here. There's so much to explore, different builds of the gear lock, different uh, loadouts you can do. It, it just changes each time. And we didn't even get to level up either of our gear locks. It was it's pretty fun. I, I can explore a gear lock over and over again. If you're interested in the game, but don't want to spend the money because I know it's it's a lot. Um, since this is kind of a what would I suggest video, I would suggest if you're interested, just get the base game. Um, there's also Undertow. And that was meant to be kind of a starter game with only two gear locks in it. But the base game is enough to tie to somebody over for a very long time. You don't need to go all in like I did. <laughs> there's just so much to explore in this game. So much variety, so much variability. Uh, those are two words I use a lot, but that's something that I look for in games that I want to play over and over and over again and spend a lot of time and energy invested in it. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope that the tutorial helped you get into this game, explain the game, decide if it's right for you. Uh, this was a game I put off for a long time and I didn't seem like it was right for me, but all of a sudden it clicked and it was through watching other people play it and just their excitement for the game was just so infectious that I had to try it. I had to try it. So if you enjoyed this content, think about hitting that like, smashing that subscribe and tapping that bell icon so you don't miss future playthroughs of this game and other games that we're bringing to the channel. I just want to say a special, special thank you and celebratory. Yes, we got to 500 subscribers. That means this channel is filling a need and that's why i started it as the growth of solo games happened during the pandemic and continues to happen and people will stick with it and more people are coming into it it's just i wanted to provide a resource for people who were coming into it and exploring games and finding the games that are right for them so thank you guys so much for reaching 500 subscribers and here's to a thousand i already have the game plan for when we hit a thousand and I'm very excited about that, but it's even more intimidating than this. So until next time, thanks for watching and happy gaming.